What the fuck? dark tentacled creature has stolen an orb and eight precious creatures. Some believe its lairs in the inner chamber of the lost city of Atlantis. Help King Neptune find the orb and the eight lost treasures. But I don't know what that is. That's a lot of... What? I don't... Ah! Oh my god, that's me. What the fuck? What? Why can't I do that? <laughs> what the hell is this? What was that? I'll let you guys know that at one point <clears throat> in the late 80s, a, uh, a programmer, someone who had studied coding and whatnot, was also a gamer, probably. Uh, went into an office, somebody's office, and he pitched an idea. And he said, "I have an idea. It's, it's going to be sort of based on on, on sort of uh, Greek mythology. We're going to get Atlantis involved." And he's like, "Here's here's my pitch." He's, he goes, "What? Here's my pitch. This is how good this game can be. You will play as Neptune, the god Neptune, and we will make the player feel as if." They're actually playing as the god Neptune. And the guy listening to it was like, mm, oh, yes, oh, yeah. You know, this whole video game thing is starting to take off. And uh, the Atari 2600 was certainly popular. And you say you can code for this new, this new weird thing called Nintendo, which is which is we haven't heard of in a long time. I think uh, I, th I think I have a, a deck of cards by that company uh, somewhere somewhere in our basement. Um, but apparently they're doing uh, high end electronics now, and, and you can you can make this happen. You can make the player feel as if they are Neptune, and the programmer's like, I can do this. I can do this. I will make a world. I will make a world where the player can feel like they are Neptune. You will start off in 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 a castle, and you will look outside the windows of the castle, and beyond the windows of the castle, you will see the ocean. And the guy was like, "Ooh, ooh, ooh ah. I'm actually, uh, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. Um, I will give you, I I I will give you the money you need." to make this fantastic game that you were describing to me. And he goes, thank you, sir. I will get to work right away. And here it is! Don't you feel it? I feel like I'm Neptune. Oh, what? <laughs> what? No. God, there's a what? And the next meeting's like, "How's the game coming along?" And he goes, "Oh, oh, great! It's going, it's going, it's going very well. We finished the interior of the castle, and now we're working on the exterior of the castle." And the guy goes, "What? What? what exterior of the castle?" Like, I mean, you're making both an interior. And an exterior? He goes, oh, yes. Yes. We wouldn't possibly make a game where you could play as Neptune without the exterior of the castle. You wouldn't be, but it wouldn't be harnessed, yoked with just the interior of the castle. No. You'll be able to look out those windows and see the ocean behind them. And then you'll enter a door, and then you'll be in the ocean. And that guy, the, the guy writing the money was very impressed. He's like, oh, oh, oh. So you're just, you're, you're going to be doing both. He's like, oh, yes. Oh, yes. And here it is. Here's the ocean. And then he goes, at another meeting, he goes, so what, what do you, 
how do you the, the guy provided the money was like so what do you foresee uh, the player will find in the in the ocean and the guy making the game goes well I'm I'm a, a sort of a a very creative person I'm not the type of person who just you know puts baubles around for you to find for no reason whatsoever I, I think I think that when you're in the ocean when you're exploring the ocean what you'll see is money coming down from the top of the sea because apparently something nefarious is happening on the surface of the ocean something Neptune is really not a part of and money money from whatever nefarious thing is happening will float down in the ocean and you'll be able to collect this money and for some reason the ocean will take American money 